Rethink TV, it was mentioned earlier uh, in, with the new packages that there's a Rethink package coming and that it's ripping up the database. Now, most of you probably don't know Rethink DB because it's quite an obscure database. If you look at that database charts, the popularity is way down the charts. It's one of the most interesting databases out there at the moment, though, because the big thing about it is it's all about passing real time changes. That means that when you actually set up a database table, instead of having to go to all the mess that Meteor has to do with Mongo, with oplogs and other things for tracking changes, all it has to do is say, I'd like to see the changes on this query on the database. And it gets sent a real-time feed of the changes to that query and the results of that query. And that includes top tens, maxes, averages, a number of aggregates, and various other bits and pieces. It's an incredibly easy database to set up as well. You know, we do a lot with setting it up in big configurations, but the big thing about it is if you've got a Mac, you go brew install, rethink DB, hit return, it'll install, run rethink DB, and then go to localhost 8080. You now have the full admin console and a JavaScript based uh, environment. In fact, we did it earlier on the demo machine, which is. It even actually tells you when there's a new version in the console. Now, I haven't had a chance to properly set this up, but if I just quickly create a table called uh, ages, and then we'll go to the data explorer and we can insert into this database. And one of the nice things that's built in is this all prompted at the end. So we want the table ages and we'll insert a record into that. This is not going to be a very complicated record. <laughs> uh, we'll give it an ID. Me. It's not me, thank goodness. <laughs> And we'll pop a little bit of data in there, like so. Run that. And that's just the instance that's happened. We'll now open another data explorer. In another window. We actually have the history on this. This time, though, we're just going to look at that table a table view of that and all we have to do with looking at that view is ask for changes on it changes correctly spelt and we run that okay it's no that's all i had to do it's now getting a push feed of changes on that table <laughs> and we hop across to here let's insert something called fred into the database There we go, run that, we'll hop back to that other tab, and here we have a new data item has turned up for 40, ID is that, there's no old value data because it's not an update or anything, so that's an insert. You can identify it by the old and new, if there's an old and new, then that's the delta changes between the two versions, <laughs> and, if there's no, and if there's no new, we've just deleted it. That's all you've got to know to process changes from any of these tables. I'm doing a very simple one here of just looking at the entire table. You can put in order by and various fine criteria. It's not complete for the, query, the scope of query so that you can actually do, which is one of the reasons why they, they're working away on that driver, because they actually have to work out which queries can do this and which can't, and get both of them running side by side. But their big aim is to get the lot all running next to each other. Let's just do another. Let's just get. Oops. I put the history up. Uh, just, just as you can see, there's a little back history built in, so you can actually roll back and pull up and re-edit. So let's load that into the there. Okay, now we can edit that. Let's. Get Fred, 
and update age done a bit of this rubbish at the end and like that that's one in place and if we go across the other tab now we can see there's the update that's just come in on that event stream it's very nice it's very you know it's been put together by some guys who have done a lot of thinking about databases um you know, you, 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 know, you feel like you're one of the dumber people in the room when they start talking yeah they've gone and built a database inside uh you know, for solid solidity of data they make sure that nothing everything is immutable inside the database which is quite hard given the technology they've chosen but you've got this very rigid very solid database really like it it's not one of the database yeah it's a database that composed that we've picked up uh, we're bringing to the market even though there's not huge demand for it we suspect that once the meteor drive is done and is doing well that a lot of meteor folk are going to want it because quite honestly the work you have to do with mongodb when you get to that scale up bit where you want two servers and you have to have privileged users generating up stuff it's hard work you know the, yeah, we've made it as about as easy as you can get it with a couple of clicks and some URLs automatically generated for you. But this just does it across your database from day zero. It's very nice. There you go. <laughs>